as you can see, there is a marked resynchronization of the ventricular segments and improvement of hemodynamic parameters and PV loop morphology. A 45-year-old female with dilated cardiomyopathy and New York Heart Association Class 3 heart failure. The echo shows a dilated cardiomyopathy with an ejection fraction of 34%, a left ventricular and diastolic diameter of 63 mm and no mitral regurgitation. The time delay between left and right ventricular ejection is 73 milliseconds, with an impaired diastolic flow, supporting the need for CRT. The standard deviation of the time to peak systolic velocity is 48.8 and an index of backs of 80 milliseconds, indicating an overall marked systolic desynchrony. This is the echo data six months after the procedure. As you can see, the patient has a reduced left ventricular and diastolic diameter of 56 millimeters, an increased ejection fraction of 43%, no mitral regurgitation and class 1 heart failure. The time delay between left and right ventricular ejection is reduced to 30 milliseconds. There is also an improved diastolic function. The standard deviation of the time to peak systolic velocity is 32 and the index of backs is 40 milliseconds. The reverse remodeling and reduction in left ventricular volumes observed after CRT is accompanied by significant improvement in ejection fraction and patient symptoms. The delay between left and right ventricular ejection is under 40 milliseconds, which is the time delay supporting the need for CRT. The standard deviation of the time to peak systolic velocity is 32 and an index of backs of 40 milliseconds showing that there is a complete normalization of echo parameters and of left ventricular dyssynchrony. Magnetic wire navigation using the stereotaxi system is able to optimize CRT implant success by obtaining a good lead stability, adequate thresholds, no phrenic nerve stimulation and most importantly the best acute hemodynamic response, increasing the number of potential responders in the long-term outcome. Multiple difficult and tortuous coronary sinus veins can be successfully navigated by the soft magnetic wire. It is easy to re-navigate multiple vein branches and to go back to the best lead location without fear of not being able to return if that is later shown to be the best site, avoiding complications. The remote navigation technology using the stereotaxis system will help electrophysiologists make CRT implants more successful.